Hey friends, I have been promising you guys a dry shampoo haul in a sense for ever and ever and ever, so today you're getting it. I discovered dry shampoo on YouTube, on YouTube of course, like where I discover everything. And I think the first person I heard mention it was maybe Gigi Gorgeous or Trisha Paytas, but I think it was Gigi Gorgeous, but I cannot believe I went until about two years ago with having no clue what dry shampoo was. I have used so, 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 so many different kinds of dry shampoo. I actually have a little, did you hear that? Container of them right here that I'm gonna share with you of what I still have on hand. And if I can remember any that I've used offhand, I'll mention those as well. And I totally forgot the two that are my two purses too, but whatever, 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 girl. The first dry shampoo I ever used is the one that's in my purse actually because it was just, uh, it's Batiste by the way. It's my favorite, 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 this brand. And this was not the first one I had used. I had used uh, like a cherry scent, fresh, some kind of cherry, whatever one. And I loved it. Dry shampoo, if you've never used it, it's kind of, you're not gonna be able to see it. It's kind of like a powdery aerosol spray or you can get it in like a actual powder form. Some um, companies don't call it dry, dry shampoo, they use like a fiber instead, but basically it's some kind of powdery fiber to put into your hair to help uh, get rid of oil and shine and to help kind of clean up and give your hair some volume. Do you remember when you were a little kid and your mom, your hair would be greasy AF and your mom would put literal baby powder in your hair? except for make you look like your granny because your hair's dark and then on top would be like gray. No, you don't, just me? All right, my mom was the only like ghetto mom like that, but she would literally put, maybe she was a fashionista before her time, but she's not really a fashionista now. I don't know, I digress. But she would put like baby powder in our hair. Like if we didn't have a shower, she'd be like, your hair's so oily. Come here, let me put some baby powder in here. And she'd aggressively rub it in my head and you stink like baby powder all day. I still don't love the, the scent of baby powder like other people do, but it got the job done. And that's what I think about when I use stuff like the powder ones like this. Like I said, my favorite is by Batiste. By all means, I buy them in three packs on Amazon because I cannot find these in the store anywhere. This particular one is called Light and Blonde and has, it says a hint of color. And if you look, it puts like a gold tint. I'll actually show you. I use a lot of dry shampoo today, so it's really not gonna affect my hair much except for if you see this gold tint. Do you see, like, it's a little harsh, but I wanted you to see what it does. So it puts this gold kind of color up in my hair. Ooh, fibers like all in my face. Up in my hair so that um, it helps lighten it and makes it look a little more full, girl. You see already, it looks way better right there. Um, but yeah, this is my favorite because of that little color spray. And Batiste in general just feels the best in my hair overall. Now, there are some that like today I use two different ones. I use the Batiste for the top and then for the ends and down in here, I'll use the Suave one, which is a really good cheap, the Batiste isn't very expensive actually guys. It's like seven bucks, okay? It's not that expensive. But then you have the Suave, which is like four bucks and you can get at a drugstore, Target, wherever. And I've used both of the different kinds. This is my second favorite actually out of all of like my bougie ones I've used. Uh, the Suave because it's so quick to get and cheap and you could just use it for days, girl. I just spray that shit all up in there. Spray it everywhere. I mean, it's about to be like Lion King, girl. Simba up in this bitch, but you're about to see some volume. Look, whoa, girl. Yeah, you need to get that shit under control. But this is my second favorite because I can just kind of use so, so much of it and not even worry about um, how much I'm using. Uh, the last aerosol I guess I have is this Redken one, pillow proof one. This is the suckiest one I've ever, ever used and it's probably the most expensive one I've used and it's the worst, by far the worst. It's like I do nothing to my hair. This is just like air in a can to me. I hate, hate, hate this one. I've also used the Pantene one because you can get it in the drugstore, like I said, drugstore or Target or whatever really, really easy. So I've used the Pantene one a few times. Um, when I couldn't find the Suave one even, sometimes I could get the Pantene one, or I, or I think I just tried it just because, but to be honest, I don't like anything really Pantene and was very disappointed in that as well, so I've not used that one again since. And like I said, they have powders. So we have this one, which smells really good. It's really lemony to me. Um, it says grapefruit and lime, so maybe it's limey to me. 
I don't know what I'm talking about, fruity, limey, whatever. But this one's from Lush, it's called No Drought. I haven't used it a whole, whole lot. I talked about it in my Lush product haul or whatever. Um, I like it pretty good. I like the aerosol better, especially the one with the tint to it because I feel like this one does like the white chalky look. So you just have to use it sparingly or work it really good. And then there's this, which was from Blow Pro. It's a dry shampoo and conditioner and I never, I didn't think this was good either. It was a sample I got from Ulta and I wasn't a fan of this one either. So all in all, my holy grail, like I've talked about over and over, is the Batiste. And for me, the light and blonde one because it gives me that tint to it that helps my roots kind of last longer, you feel me? I use dry shampoo even when my hair's clean because it does give me volume because I have very light and thin hair. And this gives me like some volume and something to work with and play and texture. So I really, really, really like using dry shampoo. That's why I like using the cheaper ones, I guess, too, because I use it more often than just every like morning just to like spruce up my hair and freshen up my hair. I actually use it a couple times a day, especially if I'm filming or doing something for volume to help keep with that. So overall, I just kind of like the cheaper ones better. That's all I have for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, be nice to each other because remember, nobody likes a fucking asshole. Bye, guys.